What's up, guys? This is Ty from CoinScribble. Today, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the CoinScribble platform. Uh, CoinScribble is a super easy to use way to get guaranteed coverage from top Web3 media, uh, perfect for marketers, agency owners, um, entrepreneurs that are building in the crypto space, essentially anyone that wants to have their company covered uh, in top Web3 media outlets. Um, all right, so we'll walk through uh, essentially everything that you can do with the CoinScribble platform, um, starting with what everyone is looking to do with CoinScribble, which is send a press release. Um, when you first sign into the app, you'll be brought to this page. Um, you can create an account, go to app.coinscribble.com. It'll take you here. Um, and then uh, you'll be ready to go as far as publishing uh, your first press releases. Um, all right, so we're going to go to send the release. Um, here you'll see the information that we need to get your release going. Of course, the title, image, the content of your press release, when you want the release published, and then uh, of course, a package. So there's a number of distribution packages which you can find um, on the coinscribble.com homepage. Um, all right, so let's create a sample press release here. Um, let's just make something up. Let's call it, uh, this is my PR. I'm going to add an image. You'll notice with the image, we want at least 800 uh, pixel width um, and a ratio of 1 to 1 1.9. Doesn't have to be exact, but that is the, the ratio to make your press release look the best. Um, and again, this featured image is going to be the main image that is used essentially as the header for your press release. So it's the main image that everyone's going to see um, when your release goes out. Um, release content. So this is, of course, your message of the press release. Um, typically, 250 to about 400 words. Um, you can include links. Uh, let's just make up some content now. Uh, here is the content of my PR. Uh, of course, it'll be much longer. So two whatever, yada, yada, yada. Um, something cool about this field is uh, it accepts a markdown language, meaning if you wanted to add a link, you can use markdown. Um, if you're not super familiar with markdown language, there is a cheat sheet here, which we'll put in the description. Um, but essentially, if you wanted to make a link, you would just do uh, this. Um, so let's say, here's my link. And there it's going to Google. Uh, so I'll tell you we make a link. Um, if markdown language really isn't your thing, um, we get that. It's it's new to some people. Um, you can just put a link to a Google Doc here if you want. It'll go out just the same. Um, just make a Google Doc, make it shareable to anyone with, with access to the link, um, throw it in here, and then we'll take care of the rest. Um, again, so you'll choose when you want the, the PR to go out. Um, if you want it out ASAP, we can do that. It typically takes less than 24 hours for a PR to go out. Um, if you want it scheduled for advance, that's fine as well. And then, of course, the last thing and important thing here is to choose the package that you want to um, purchase with your PR. So there's a number of different um, packages. There is a pricing page up here, which you can find, um, which will walk you through the difference between all the different options. Uh, they all come with different levels of uh, distribution. So different publishers will pick up depending on the package. Um, so uh, check out the pricing page for more on that. Um, so let's say we're going to go with the hyper growth package here. Um, so you choose that, and you're just going to, let's my PR. And then you're going to submit your press release. Um, once this is done, it's going to take you through the next steps. Uh, and then, uh, again, get your press release ultimately out the door. Um, all right, here. So you've submitted your release. Um, we have everything we need regarding content. Um, the next step here is paying your invoice. We can't distribute the PRs until the invoice has gone, has been paid. Um, you can check your invoices here. There's also a tab up here that you can find from any page. Um, you'll be able to see that you have a, an open invoice here, um, the amount due, and then if you want to make a payment, you simply make a payment. Super easy. Um, you just put your email address in, and then we accept a bunch of different major cryptos and stable coins. Um, so you can just pay that way. Um, all right, let's go back to the app. Um, once you have paid it, it takes about 24 hours, but this will be marked as paid, um, and then your release will go out. You can then track your releases here in the releases page. Um, again, this is pending because I haven't paid yet. Uh, you'll see you know, essentially all the information that you need to know about when the release is going to go out, things like that. Once the release actually goes live, um, this button becomes clickable, and you'll be able to track in real time the analytics of uh, your release. So you'll see everywhere that, that the PR has been picked up, um, you'll have a link to it. You'll see number of views on the release. Um, you'll see estimated audience size of the publications that have picked you up, um, essentially everything that you can need to know. Um, that is essentially it. If there's any questions that come up while you're uh, issuing a release, 
there's you know tons of support that we've made available. If you go up here, you'll be able to find your account manager, um, which will have contact information. Uh, you can either contact us via email at support at coinscribble.com, or you can go to your account manager tab and send a telegram message to your account manager. Um, and that's it. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what you publish. Again, really super uh, easy, uh, quick way to get tons of coverage quickly. Um, so check out the packages. And as always, if you have any questions, reach out to us at support at coinscribble.com. Thanks.